Arm Blaster Workout Program. This program is suitable for anyone who wants to build strong and ripped arms. Arm Blaster Program efficiently builds shaped arms and shoulders with simple compound exercises. This program uses three-dimensional natural movement patterns to work your biceps and tricep muscles together with supporting muscle groups. Start in ready position and develop a natural swing by taking your right arm forward. At the same time, your left arm will extend backwards. Alternate arm positions and continue your movement. Find a natural rhythmic swing that works for your body. Remember to maintain tension on the bands at all times by slightly bending the elbows backward. It will be a natural flowing motion designed to be synchronized using the muscles in the chest, in the arms, in the back. Squeeze the legs by bending forward through the hip. Flex the knees lightly. Feel the core. As your arms move, the core will rotate gently, but it will maintain pressure. Keep the back and posture aligned at all times. Keep the chin tucked in onto the spine. As you push, start going higher and deeper, making sure the bands have complete tension all the time. Breathe, sync up the movement. Think chest, shoulders, bicep, core, leg engagement, hip flexion forward, glute engagement in the back, lower leg pushing into the board, deriving a grounding effect. Keep tension on the bands at all times and when you're ready, return to neutral. For the next movement, you are required to cross your bands. What I'd like you to do is take the band that's in your left hand, place it in your right hand, the band in your right hand, place it into your left hand. Begin with your placement, please. This will naturally put you into our X freestyle across, and we're prepared to move the trapezius muscles, muscles in the back of the body. Let's begin. Arms rounded in front of you, please. The tempo is 4-4. Four, four. Take it up for two. One, two, split for two, three, four. Return to neutral. One, two, and down. And we're into our count tempo. Up, two, out, two. In, two, and down, two. Up, two, and out, working chest and back. Bring it in, and then slowly take it down. Take the elbow tips up. Keep them well engaged. Pull them back. Expand the chest, release. When you're into the downward action, always keep in mind to keep the shoulders up at all times, never rounding the shoulders or muscles in the back. Take your palms to your chest. Take it up, split. Bring it in together, maintain constant tension. Watch as you go down. Be sure that you're up and squeezing. Squeeze, 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 release. As you go down, breathe out slowly. As you lift up, breathe in. And as you pull back, squeeze and breathe out. Your body is a towel. Squeeze as much out of your towel as you possibly can. Tighten the muscles in the back, in the arms, in the chest. As you're going down, focus into the muscles in the core, the abdomen. Start pulling up with your abdomen as well. Release. Stay relaxed at all times. Let's begin again. I'll start your count. One, two, three, and split. In, two, and down for two. Up, two, three, split. In, two, and down for two. Breathe. One, two, apart. Relax through. Come on down. Give me a few more repetitions. You're almost there. Up, work, work, work. Out. You have four more to go. Take it down. Start to focus even more. Become more in tune with your body. Super slow movements will give you complete awareness, self-control. They're easy to follow. They're efficient. There's no jerking, no ballistic movements, no injuries. Complete focus on the body, self-control. Give me two more repetitions. Breathe, focus, two at a time. Up and out, down and through. 
and relax. Let's begin with our ready position. At this point, we have to cross our bands. So the band that's in your right hand, please place it in your left. And the band in your left hand, please place it in your right and assume ready position. The muscles being worked will be the back and the tricep muscles as well as arm engagement. Let's begin, please. Pull it up through center and then extend upward under chin. Take the hands up into an elbow extension. Get a little bit of squeeze. Bring it down again into flexion and then straight down. I'll begin our tempo count and we begin with one, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. Keep the bands well away from the body and then bring them down. One, two, and three, four. Up through the shoulders into the triceps, extension into back, a little extra squeeze, working the entire body in a synchronized full body movement, engaging muscles in the back, the shoulders, the arms, bicep, tricep, running it through the core, squeezing the glutes as you hit your full extension into the shoulders and bring it down through center. All movement begins through the core. We call them core connected moves. This particular action uses multiple axes, multiple movers, extreme strength, lots of control, bring it down, start to breathe and focus even more deeply, take it up to extend with power and energy, bring it down into center and then slowly release it. We want you to feel every single movement as it pulses through you and extends outward, harness the energy in, bring it down slowly, let's count our tempo, one, two, release with power, bring it in, one, two, and release it down. We know you're feeling it, take it up. One, two, extend, breathe, take it down. Watch as our trainers work along with you. Notice their breathing patterns in, exertion and power, release, bring it down. One, two, extension through, bring it in for two, and then take it down for two. Give me four more repetitions, please. Up for two, and then out for two. Burn the triceps, feel them growing, feel the power coursing through the core, into the back, take it up. Core is connected, triceps, biceps, shoulders, connected to the center of your body. Give me three more repetitions, take it up. Up, two, and then explode forward for two. Bring it in, keep the back up strong, and shoulders push down. Here's our tempo. One, two, extension for two. Breathe, release it in, take it down. Take it on up. Up, two, three, four, push even harder. You're almost there. Take it down. One more time, up. And when you're finished, push, squeeze, hold, bring it in, and return to neutral. Let's start in the ready position. This will be a combination of both bicep and tricep. Let's start with the forward bicep action. Bend the elbow joint, flex it up. Let's take it to the shoulder. As you pull your elbows behind you and move through, rotate the wrists on the bottom. Pick your tempo and speed. Bicep flexion into tricep extension. Remember to rotate the wrist at the bottom of the movement and at the top of the movement to develop that fabulous peak on the bicep head. Throw your arms slightly out and over your shoulder. Occasionally, look at your arms. Make sure they're pumped. Smoothly move from biceps into triceps. Knees are slightly flexed. Feet are firmly on the board and pressing down. The more you press down, the more the legs activate. Reaching into the core. Push the chest forward. As you press back, chest is forward. As you squeeze the bicep, chest remains forward. Bicep engagement, tricep engagement, core innovation. Shoulders working smoothly in unison. Squeezing the legs, squeezing the glutes, putting pressure into the board, maintaining core stability at all times. Rotation at the bottom of the movement and at the top of the movement. 
The more that you rotate out, the more your body is going to love it, grow and move with you. Continue moving and breathing. As you become more tired, work harder and harder. Squeezing and then pressing behind you. Bicep squeeze, tricep extension. Maintaining focus on the arms the entire time. Push your chest forward, shoulders back and down. Feel your core connect, feel your legs get tight. Squeeze the glutes, pushing through the board, squeeze. Veins in the arms starting to push, starting to push. Keep breathing, keep pushing, and relax. Go to neutral. Let's start in the ready position. Begin by taking the band in your right hand and placing it in your left. Crossover band. This is called the cross system band. Let's begin. Forward flexion of the hip. Bend forward and then bend the knees slightly. Let's uncross the bands by pulling them apart and begin. The arms go up and they return to neutral. As you extend, you feel the muscles in the back of your shoulders. Keep the arms slightly bent, chest up, shoulders back. Engage the core. Keep the knees slightly flexed. As you become more fatigued, push further into the board for more energy. The muscles in the core will connect the energy from the legs to the energy in the arms. Breathe. Extension is key. Control the arm movements. Watch yourself as you move through the movement. Maintain the tempo. As you squeeze, think chest, back, shoulders. Think complete upper body picture, rounded shoulder caps, back of the body matching the front of the body, forward hip flexion, chest pushes forward, sternum engaged, pressing forward as you pull at all times, squeezing, breathing, contracting, all the muscles on the back of the body working as a team synchronized, and return to ready position. Let's start in the ready position. Begin by taking your elbows forward. Take your elbows to the side next and then drop your forearms behind you. We're gonna extend into a tricep overhead press. Let's begin, please. Arms will extend up and then they'll come down. Separate your legs as needed for tension. And let's start, arms up and let's drop down. As you move through the motion, keep in mind that we're trying to keep the elbows close to the head. The triceps are located on the back of the arm. For them to be engaged, we have to be sure to extend fully and explosively. So let's take it down, and when you're ready, take it up. If you need to decrease tension, bend the knees just a bit. Keep in mind that this will place tension and power into the legs. At the present time, power is going from the arms, into the core, into the legs. As you push up each time, use the board underneath you. Use the board through the feet. Press, press, take it down. Start to engage the breath. Engage the core, keep it moving. Triceps help with all lifting exercises. As your elbows flare out to the side, pull them back in, rein in your arms. As you become fatigued, they will go out to the side. But with resistance tubing, that poses no problem to us. Just keep moving and don't stop. Keep the tension flowing, arms to core to legs, repeating that cycle. And when you're ready, return to your ready position. Let's start in ready position. Begin by extending your arms slightly in front of you. As you move forward toward your center line, cross in the center at your eye line and then explode outward, palms facing the ceiling. It is a circular action. As you go up, you'll be working the muscles in the shoulders and in the chest. And as you release down, you'll be working the muscles in the back. The entire time, the elbows are slightly flexed, promoting maximum tension in the muscles in the arms. Chest up, shoulders back. Push the sternum forward. As you fatigue, bend your knees slightly. Engage the core. Squeeze the legs. Keep the knees stable by pulling your hips slightly back and off the board. Core stabilization is key for balance and control. The movements are controlled, easy to follow, fully synchronized, engaging biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, 
back, core, legs, and the lower leg as you push down and concentrate. All movement in the upper body is connected through the core strength. Tighten and push down. Feel the energy through the upper body, the arms, and the back, and relax. Return to neutral. Start in ready position. This will be a bicep movement. Let's begin, please. Take the arms up, flaring them outward, slightly thumbs first. As you come through center, rotate the wrist, press backward, and begin your tempos. As you come up, think bicep, bicep, and as you go down, extend downward into your triceps. Use your thumb as your guide. Bring your thumbs together and then take them to the ground. As they come up, throw them over your shoulder. You're developing a peak on the top of your bicep, and every time you go back, you're working both triceps as well as the muscles in the back. There's a slight fan-like action as you come towards your midline and then move away from your midline. The further you throw it over your shoulder, the more challenged your biceps will become. Chest up, shoulders back, sternum pushing forward at all times. Knees are slightly bent. Pull your chin in over your spine. Keep breathing, keep moving, keep squeezing. Occasionally, check your bicep movement. Watch the biceps as they go through their complete range of motion, including the tricep. Keep pushing and extending, working evenly, fully synchronized, slow, controlled movement. At the same time, think about it, your core is engaged, you're upright, bands are pulling on your legs. The entire body is engaged in the movement, moving as one complete unit, fluid and in control. Think core, squeeze. As you become more challenged, become more focused, work even harder. Squeeze the biceps, extend the triceps, push, squeeze, enjoy the pulse, take it up, and return to neutral position.